Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and others, welcome to the vlog. It's your boy, Lewis Offer, and you know your girl, Sookie Sue, here. <laughs> oh, Sookie Sookie Man. With her theme music. Every good superhero needs the theme music. So today, me and the Sookalicious are going to go to the Patterson Auto Museum. Is that Patterson or Peterson? I say Patterson, you say potato. Let's call this whole thing off. So we're gonna meet up with the notorious VIP, GIV, and the TCO. And without further ado, do, let's go for a roll. Suki, down. Roll it. Bring it up top. Take my thumb too. All right, so join us as we go in the Corvette to the car museum. Damn. We're in the car. We're heading to meet the GIV and the TCO at the Pedersen Car Museum. I've never been there before. Go ahead, buddy. I'm in no rush. You know, I got to be extra nice on the road because you guys are all watching me. So I won't drive aggro. Um, so I heard they had this really cool car there. It's it's called an S car and it's shaped like a snail and it's really fast. You should see that S car go. And uh, I'm going to see, uh, they have a James Bond car exhibit. Uh, Love James Bond growing up. And uh, I had a die cast model of, uh, it was uh, Austin Martin, I believe. It had a shield that came up, popped up in the back, the license plates rotated, guns popped out in the front, and it had this coolest thing ever. It had a sunroof, and you press a button, and the whole like uh, passenger and passenger seat would shoot out the top of the sunroof. It was one of the best toys ever. I wish I had one of those now. You guys see it? That's it. How dope is that building? Uh, that architecture is amazing. I can't say the word architecture. Or, yeah, Ark of the Covenant texture. Look how awesome the architecture is on this building. I love it. And you guys all saw it on La Brea, fall into that sinkhole and then go into the prehistoric ages, parts of it at least. So we're gonna go in and look at this. The largest official Bond car display. And we love bondage. Check out, there's Suki right there. And check out how this looks from down here. Wow, pretty cool. And you know, I don't care that that trash guy is there. It adds to the ambiance. So this helicopter was from the James Bond movie, From Russia With Love. That was made in 1963. I was only one years old. And look at that technology. Probably back then, this was high tech. Now, not so much. Look how they just have the battery, right? Bolted to the tail of the helicopter. Would you feel safe in there? Helicopter. I don't know. I'm just gonna try to walk in here and see what happens. The door open. Come on, Silk. Oh my God, look at that. I feel like supercar blondie. Let's zoom out so you can see that. Wow, look at that interior. It's a four-seater supercar. Have you guys ever seen that before? Me neither. Oh yeah, that's one of those 
Cronenbergers. Cronenbergers. Oh my God, look at that. Carbon fiber, all carbon fiber. That's the Gotham because it looks like the Batmobile. I don't think the Batmobile was blue. That's a tongue twister. And we're looking for the GIV and the TCO, but in the meantime, that Ferrari is charging. It must be a Lecra or a hybrid, but holy mackerel, look at that car. Woo! Can you read that? Because I can't read. Look at that. How awesome is that? And look at this one. Oh my God. It's a one seater. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can read, because I certainly can't. And look, there's uh, some motorcycles. That's the Lotus right there. That's, you said, have a low ass. And an Austin, Aston Martin. Look at that uh, flange for the exhaust. It's like pretty cool. That's pretty ill. Ill communication. And right now we're in the Bond exhibit. Look at all those Bond posters. That's worth the price of admission right there just to see all those posters. And look, there's the most iconic Bond vehicle of all time. That's the Aston Martin from 1964. It's got a, a shield that pops up. It's got a rotating license plate. It's got oil. It's got, uh, 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 what is those jacks? Spike jacks that come out. It uh, has an ejector seat. It's got machine guns that come out in the front. But you know what? I don't see any of that on that. Look how cool, man. I love James Bond. You remember this uh, scuba duba thing here? That's pretty cool. Well, look how cool this boat is. It's got mines in the back. Mind is a terrible thing to waste. It's Suki next to the skis on the Aston Martin. That's Suk Ski. And look, that looks similar to the helicopter we saw outside. But that's a different one. Wow, look at that. Mini sub. That's a cool one. Would you get in there? Me neither. Try it, not that impressed. This is a Ford Mustang Mach 1. Look at that paint job. Oh my God. I love that boat, get some air. Man, you know, I like to do my videos. I like to show as much as I can, as fast as I can. We're not very detailed orientated here. We're just show you what we got and that's love i love this car turns into a, a sub that was one of the first jet skis and look at that they just towed that car we got a nice doom buggy we got another sub we missed that boat over there Let's get a quick shot of that and the hang glider above it. Look at that one, it's shiny gray. Silver, sorry, like the surfer. Uh-oh, I think I just walked in the exhibit. We got a doom buggy. We got a, a Tic Tac, Yak Yak, what are those called? I don't know, Tuck Tuck. Look at that, that looks like a Honda. Oh no, it's a Kachiba. Look at those rockets on top of that Beamer. It could blow itself up. Another Beamer there, look, you got the movie with the, woo, look at that big air, that really happened. Look at that, 
that's like a paraceller thingy. I don't say anything right. A lot of BMWs. They must be a sponsor. That boat's got a little rocket in the front. There's a uh, snowmobile. And look, there's that newer Austin Martin right there. That's the one I think that was on the ice. Yeah, look, I can see a picture of it on the ice or the other cars on the ice. Why is that car going so sideways? And look at the uh, minigun on the back. I think that's what that's called. And look at all this James Bond activity here. That's Bond in motion. And this is one of the new Aston Martins. Actually, it's only not that new, 2015. And that's what happens to your car when you drive in the ice a lot. Ice a lot. Some more ice damaged over here. We'll go through this as fast as we can. We're gonna look at everything just really super fast. Okay, we're starting off with the James Bond exhibit on the first floor. And uh, we're looking at some cars, some boats, some cars that are submarines, jet skis, and subs, and tuk-tuks, and planes, and motorcycles, and cars, and jet skis, and more Austin Martins. I'm not saying that right, Austin. Austin Martin. And we're going upstairs to the second floor. There's another look at the movie posters, cool staircase. Well, view down below. I'm getting tired. One of the reasons why I uh, am putting music and a voiceover is because I'm panting through this clip. But uh, we're going through that second floor and uh, lots of cool stuff here. Great cars. You're seeing it all super fast. Old and the new. The newer. And uh, there's a new DeLorean and some hot rods. And we're getting ready to go into the hypercar exhibit, which I really liked. And uh, there's those hypercars. I'm hyped on the hypercars. And uh, look at this. You see this clip and uh, you really uh, don't need to go to the museum because... Uh, You've seen it all already here on my channel. I like that motorcycle. And um, every time you see me drop the camera around, that's because somebody's in the frame and didn't want to put them in. And uh, more stairs to the third floor. And uh, here we go again. That car is really old and ahead of its time. And I uh, love that Bugatti. That was a Cadillac, and we're coming up on the movie part of the uh, exhibit, and I really like these movie cars. Black Panther, Starsky and Hutch, it's gone 60 seconds, I'm not quite sure. Batman, Superman, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You, Lightning McQueen. Well, that's it for the high-speed tour of the Peterson Museum. Oh my God, where is the GIV when you need him? This is... The time machine, the DeLorean time machine. Look, you can see the flux capacitor in there fluctuating. Wow. You know, the GIV loves Back to the Future. He looks like Marty McFly. Well, I'm right here with the GIV. And you know, he loves Back to the Future. And he's gonna tell you a little bit about this car here. Well, what is there not to know? This is actually the original car, the A car. If you come a little closer, I can you do see that. the A right here. Oh, yeah. So this is not a replica car. This is the one they used in the movie, but they kind of like made it brand new because it was all in the parking lot for years at the Universal Studios and it got kind of rotten. So they actually 
rebuilt the whole thing and made it look exactly how it was in the movie. You see the flux capacitor in the background right here, it's still fluxing. Got the time machine, look inside right here. That's where you dial in what year you want to go to? That's actually right. And this is made from an old copy machine. Some stuff, our capacitors. From, and is that a Mr. Coffee back there? No, it's not. It's not. What is that? <laughs> this is the plutonium chamber. And what's that made from, that plutonium chamber? That's a hubcap. So I don't know what year that car is, but it's a hubcap from some kind of car. And is there any other details that you can tell me about this vehicle? Um, Nothing back there? You know yeah, what? A lot of helicopter parts were used to build this. Yep. And, and Mike, would you love to be able to just to sit down right there in that seat? Um, I would love to sit in that seat, but if you turn around, they always have security everywhere. And security! We're not, and we're not able to sit in the car, but being that close to a movie car, that is amazing to me already. So we appreciate that, and we don't want to break any rules. We just go with the rules. Just no, I, I was... Just looking at it is good I, enough. I wasn't telling you to sit in it. <laughs> no. I was just asking, you, man, would you, would you love to sit in that car? Oh, of course. Yeah, I thought so. All right. Well, that's it. Wow. This is the Mercedes. Those running boards look like they've been around for a while. We're going to see how long <laughs> this was built in 1931. And it's been shot. Let's see. This was in a movie called Red Notice. I don't know. And look at this Lexus. It's got cat scratch fever. And wow, look at that. That's the car from Starskin Hutch. And uh, I used to have, uh, well, my parents had a Grand Torino. And one day I took a lot of Quaaludes down in Santa Monica and I crashed it and totaled it. My dad didn't have an awesome set of tools to fix it. There's the Mustang, Sally. Oh, that's the Eleanor. We try to get that one a lot. And what is this vehicle? That's uh, from the transporter. It's got a lot of lights. And I don't know what this one is. Could that be the Batmobile? Oh my God, look at the Batty Bat Batmobile. You know what Batman was doing in the bathroom? Do 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 do. I don't know what this BMW here is, but I think it was in a movie. It was in that movie, right? Glare. I can't see it because the glare. Look, the Scooby Dooby Doo van. The mystery machine. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? I don't know the rest of the lyrics. And of course, we got the Ghostbusters vehicle. I think this is from the newest Ghostbuster because it looks weathered like it's been in a barn for a long time. Who are you going to call? And look at this one wheeler. The monocycle. And look at this reptilian cycle. Oh my God, we got the Hot Wheels right here. That's Lightning McQueen from Cars. Suki, you like Lightning McQueen? Oh, that's a good shot. That could be like the thumbnail. And now we're going into the hypercar zone. Holy mackerel, look at this one. This is a hypercar. That's a 19 La Caricaca. La Craca Sierra. Man, I have dyslexia really bad and I cannot read anything. But I bet 
if I came here with f-stop he would know every single one of these cars and I love the carbon fiber wheels maybe one day I could have a car that has carbon fiber wheels you never know anything could happen but holy mackerel look at these cars how awesome is that if I get in frame and look at this oh my god I've never seen cars like this before in my life I'm not even gonna try to say that's a Ben Oko Shamira look at those walls calipers wow it's kind of got like a little retro -y vibe man oh you know why I can't get anything in frame I'm zoomed in because all I want to do is zoom 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 out so you can see much better wow that it's like a Tron car that's a prototype proto 1 to proto 2 and what do we got here this is the uh, rim Mac and I don't never heard of any of these cars oh we all know the Bugatti though I love Bugattis are my favorite look at that I picked a big Bugatti out of my nose and what do we have here this is Prince's car it's a uh, Cameron Bro Juji yeah, I'm not really feeling that one. But I do like all the exposed carbon fiber. This one looks like a Lambo. It is. I got a new one, finally. And look at those air intakes right there. Wow. It was actually a like radiators in there look at that man what a sick whip this one here looks like a Porsche of course it is that's a 918 spider you know how I know that I read it on the sign I think you can see the motor in the back of this one if I am mistaken Yep, I am mistaken. And we got one more here. That's definitely Italian. I can see the Italian flag colors. Look at that. Wow. Pretty cool. Zonda. It was dope. It's a Bugatti look at that old Bugatti you know me I love the Bugattis Ooh. and that is a 1939 Bugatti wow ragtop that is incredible look at that Look at this it. Jaguar. That's like the cigar one. You know, one of my favorite movies of all time is Harold and Maude. And he took one of these and he put like a hearse back on it. And that inspired me to take my Magnum and turn it into a hearse. Hearse donut. Well, that's it for the Peterson Museum. And I've clarified, it's not Peterson, it's Peterson. I've been saying it wrong for so long. And I've never been here before. So it was really awesome to come here with the GIV. What do you want to say, GIV? If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And with Tico, hit that bell for notifications. And what else do I do? Subscribe, like, share it, whatever you want to do. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for watching it. It was really great hanging out with the three amigos. And with that said, how do you end your video? 
Tschüssing. How do you end your videos? Peace. And how I end my videos? With the ciao, bug, and a pom.